Bullet trajectories can be defined by connecting impact and exit points with either a line or the trajectory tool. The impact plane can be adjusted for different inclination impacts. We're going to demonstrate four aspects of bullet trajectories in FZ3. First, with a bullet path through a wall. This wall has a bullet hole. Because it's six inches wide, the entry point and exit point can be used to define a trajectory path. Zoom in for a view of both holes. Click the trajectory command. The impact plane appears loaded to your cursor. Click the exit point first, then the entry point. The path is built from impact toward the shooter. You'll notice an arrow pointing toward the impact. Zoom in close for a clear view of the grips. Pull the grips to extend the trajectory cone without loss of slope. Notice the impact plane is on the exit side of the wall. Accurate inclination of the impact plane is necessary for slope calculation. Because the wall is vertical, no changes to inclination are necessary, but offset will prove important in a moment. First, let's look at settings where you can modify the look of the trajectory elements. Adjust the size of the impact plane or the offset to move it to the other side of the wall, for example. Offset is handy when you extend the line to the place of impact. Pull the plane back with offset. There are also controls to change trajectory rod size, line, cone, and plane colors, and adjust arrows. A second way to create a trajectory rod and cone is to draw a basic line and change the line type to trajectory rod. This will also add an impact plane and shift the tool panel to the trajectory panel. In this next setup, we demonstrate a use for the trajectory tool in determining possible locations and positions of a shooter. In this example, the shot came from a high placement and the impact plane is the hood of the car, which is not vertical or fully horizontal. Adjust the impact plane pitch to match the hood's surface. Azimuth and inclination values are based on the impact plane. The trajectory rod and cone give a stunning appearance to a scene and helpful data. After viewing this video, you are now able to draw a trajectory path using the trajectory command, change a basic line into a trajectory rod and cone, adjust the pitch and yaw of an impact plane, and modify the appearance of the rod, cone, and plane.